So check this, you just started thrifting, but don't quite know where to start. See, that's where I come into play. I can guarantee you that you'll be way fly after watching this video. So sit back and enjoy. What's going on family? Peace and love to y'all. Hope all is well with y'all. And uh, as y'all can tell by the title, y'all see what we doing today. Now today this video is strictly for tops, okay? Like I said in the intro to the video, I can guarantee you that after this video, you will be way much flyer than you was before. If you wasn't fly at all, I can guarantee you after this video, you will be fly. You'll be able to put together a fly outfit. You know what I'm saying? So look, now mind you, before I get started into it, all of these, all of these are all thrifted, okay? All of these items on here are thrifted. So these range from the past two years. It's not all from this year. So um, yeah, um, I'm gonna basically be going over um, certain essentials that I feel like you need that, you know what I'm saying? Step your game up, kind of like cheat codes, cheat codes in, in the fashion industry. These are like the cheat codes, so you know what I'm saying? like get that look you know what i'm saying so um yeah it differs from different seasons depending on what season it is um but we got it all today so without further ado let's get into it so first thing i suggest y'all to get get y'all a jean vest okay not a jean jacket a jean vest now back in the day jean jackets used to be popping like not even back in the day, like a couple years back like whole jean outfit used to be popping like now you know what i'm saying you can wear this in the summer you can even wear this in the cold depending on how you decide to style it but um jean vests are definitely the go-to especially since jorts are in season two but it is about to start getting cold so you could wear these with just jeans don't have on this jean color like this dark nigga forgot colors <laughs> don't have on this uh this dark blue jean vest and then have on some light blue pants and ain't gonna work it's gonna throw it off okay so just make sure it's the same shade and you'll be straight um i actually posted a flick in these so i'm gonna put an example right here and uh this is how i style this jean vest let's get to the next one now this is more so around like do not fall do not fall i got like i got three more items i got three more items to show y'all but i couldn't put it on here because it's gonna fall back bro it's gonna fall back. These some heavy um, items. Do not mind these flies, boy. I don't want to, have to do it to y'all again. This is more so for like a winter. For winter time, winter is coming up. It's gonna start getting chilly. You feel me? So um, uh, get you a bulky jacket like this. This is not a coat. No, it's not a coat. It's a bulky jean jacket, and it has fur inside. You know what I'm saying? Keep you warm. This is real stylish. Plus, it make you look hella aki, bro. Make you be walking in that bit like this you feel me you feel me i'm trying to tell you like if you skinny if you real skinny you put this on niggas ain't gonna know you skinny bro but look i feel like this is in this uh bear with me my like my words is twisted because this shit frustrated me when it was falling oh! i had to put dumbbells at the bottom of it so look i feel like this is a good grab something I should definitely look for and it's warm it's really warm and um you can rock this in plenty of ways you can rock this in a chill outfit you can even rock these with sweats if you want to go for that look but um on to the night next up we got this it's like a baseball varsity um I don't know what to call it let me see I don't know what you call it but for the sake of this video I'm gonna call it the v-neck because that's what I call all of these shirts with v-necks but um this is different I have another v-neck I'm gonna show y'all later on but this is different so a baseball or any sports um top that's like this with the v-neck reason why it gives that varsity look and shirts like these you can easily throw a collar underneath it and have like that um like that tomboy look you know what i'm saying this gives you more so like a tomboy style so um find on one of these i'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere it's like damn near every thrift store has like 
shirts from from different sports like nine times out of ten you're gonna see like a lot of like sports shirts or like shirts from like different schools you feel me so it shouldn't be hard for y'all to find one of these um i don't know where the hell it's from i don't care where it's from but i just know it looked nice so that's why i copped it but um yeah i'm gonna just call this varsity v-neck all right we're gonna keep pushing all right now this is one of my favorite pieces of all time i used to wear the hell out of this in high school strictly because of its design. I just love how it's designed. Like, um, for one, it's knitted. Two, look at that, you feel me? Y'all see that? I like how it's just designed, like it's just, it's neat, okay? So, flying on one of these, it obviously is not gonna be the exact one. If you find the exact one, then you lit. But I'm not saying to find something exactly like this, but the reason why I brought this out here is to show y'all, um, look for something with fabrics you usually don't wear. Like, look for something different, like something that stands out, a different garment. Like, this stands out because of, you know what I'm saying, that part right there. And you look at everything, so it got a lot of details in it. So, I urge y'all to find that one piece, or multiple pieces, but I urge y'all to find pieces that has detail, you know what I'm saying? And not because of the name of it or anything like that's why i thrift because you can find so much of the things with hella details that's more um how you say this more valuable to you um than a name brand shirt that's just literally a regular shirt with just a logo on it and they price it for 200 dollars rather than you know what i'm saying a shirt with details and stitching like stitching down to the t you know what i'm saying you can get it for cheap just thrifting, so that's why I thrift. But yeah, I urge y'all to find y'all a piece like this, like a jacket like this, because these are easy. You can throw this on with a white tee. Um, you can wear this business casual-wise. Um, it's all up to you, but find y'all a piece like this, okay? Good. Next I'm gonna show y'all is this. Now, uh, I love this right here. Just because it's knitted, like it gives it kind of like that hippie look. You know what I'm saying? So um, if y'all wanna go for this style, I suggest y'all do it. I say go for it because it's, it's pretty fire and it's dope. Um, but yeah, I be throwing this on with, like, with a white tee and some um, some baggy blue jeans, you feel me? Like I can try some of these on for y'all. I'm not gonna try everything on. You should definitely have like some type of garment or piece in your closet or in your inventory that give you like hippie vibes, you know what I'm saying? Because it's always cool, like you could just chill out, chill with this like, you don't even gotta match. When you when you dress in hippie wise, you don't even gotta match. For real though. But uh yeah man, I just think it's fly. Find you some hippie wise. If you can find something just like this that's knitted, like something that's um more natural and it doesn't look like you bought it that way, it look like someone made it, like like your grandma put her love in that. You know what I'm saying? Like some a piece like that. It's fire. So find you one. Now this shirt right here is sort of like the blue, um, I don't know what you call it. I'm gonna just say schoolboy, okay? Like the blue schoolboy type is shirt with the V-neck. But instead, this is acrylic, um, polyester, and wool. So um, it's knitted, as you can see, and it also has that V-neck. Shirts like these really give like a natural, organic, like vibey look, you know what I'm saying? Once again, I throw these on with a button up underneath, a white button up. Um, you can wear a tie if you want. You want to go through that look but overall i just think it's a beautiful piece because you know just look how it's you know what I'm words get twisted up just look how it's like pieced together you feel me like overall i just think it's a beautiful look pieces like like pieces that stand out in your inventory like you feel me i don't even wear much graphic tees like if you really want to step out your comfort zone and like really start getting to fashion for real don't focus primarily on graphic tees because if you focus, let me tell you something. Look, if you like, if you focus on graphic tees too much in your outfit, it's harder to base an outfit around that graphic tee. Really, like it's really harder to base an outfit around a graphic tee rather than buying a pack of white t-shirts and then um having a lot of tops. You have more options to pick with your outfit. Like with a gray t-shirt on, with a gray graphic tee, um, I really have less options to style it with, like, top-wise to go over it. Um, but with a white t-shirt, 
you can pretty much throw it on with any one of these colors and then go along with the fit so yeah get y'all a pack of white t-shirts but um that's the reason why i suggest y'all get y'all something knitted like this and um throw it on with a white button up underneath it's gonna be fire the next thing y'all need to get is vest okay now both of these vests are different fabrics like this one is more like a cotton and suede fabric um and then inside is silk you know what i'm saying so it feel good it feel good and comfortable this one is cotton inside so these ones like you get hot faster than these but um they're sleeveless so in the summer i wear these with no shirt underneath and i just rock them like that and uh comfortable um reliable something quick you can throw on just like a white tee you can throw on a vest you feel me you don't even gotta wear no shirt underneath but um vest in the winter vests are easier to rock with um turtlenecks you can also wear it with tees but i feel like they look better with turtlenecks it gives it more like a fuller look um, I used to wear a lot of my vests with turtlenecks um, in high school, and uh, I love the look. I love the look, but um, vests, I feel like vests are crucial. It's a must. But, all right, next thing I'm gonna show y'all. Now this is a need. This is a need. This is something I definitely gotta get. Um, it's real stylish. Get you some leather, okay? A leather. Now, a leather jacket like this. Now I have two. I have both of them. I'm gonna show both. Get you something like this. Um, both of these are leather. Um, these just make you look real fly. Like, this is sort of like a newer one. This is more so vintage. Um, but this give you like that biker look. You can mix it with streetwear style. I wear this with some jeans. I can also put a pick right here. How I rocked it. You know what I'm saying? So, these just make you look fly. Like, you can't really say nothing when you get on leather for real. So, get y'all some leather, bro. I need y'all some vibrant y'all collection. This is one of my favorite shirts to rock. Like I used to wear this a lot when it was like really really hot. I used to wear this a lot. Throw it on with some jeans that always look nice for real. Try like not to throw it on. This how I look with it on. You feel me? The reason why I like this is not because of well one because it's yellow, but two the fabric of it. You see, it's fly. It's nice. I'm more about the material um, side of fashion. Like I just love the material of this. So find you something that's vibrant and that the material is good and different and different. Something that you ain't never had before in your closet. So yeah, get you something vibrant, you feel me? Make it look like a day at the beach or something like that. Like you're trying to go, you know what I'm saying? Play volleyball at the beach. Get you something vibrant and you can style it in different types of ways. So uh, yeah, on to the next. This bad baby right here. Now, the reason why I love this is one because it gives like a vintage look you feel me that's why i got it it gives like a vintage look also because it's suede you feel me like you know what i'm saying fabric material i value the material way more on this and um the stitching it's yellow but black stitching you feel me little details like that so find you some vintage you feel me if i threw this on i wear some jeans with a belt Pull them up. You can wear this in a streetwear style. Um, you can wear this business casual. Um, really, like, you can be so much versatile when it comes to like jackets like these with collars, um, with buttons as well too, or without buttons. But you can pull off so much different styles with jackets like these. The reason why I urge you to get it is because it's like a vintage look. So find you some, and it's also it's not big. This one cuts a little bit short, like, so it crops short a little bit, like up here. You know what I'm saying? It just gave it a whole vintage vibe, so get you some vintage. Now this piece right here is actually a custom piece. Packed this jack, you feel me? But this jacket was thrifted, okay? This jacket was thrifted, but it was customized. My brother actually customized this. I want y'all to at least own a piece in your collection that you can say you customized or you designed your own self. Um, it just, it just fills in that hole in your closet, you feel me? Like when you have something you design, it just make you feel way more whole. So y'all go out, y'all do a DIY, y'all design you something, paint on something, and have that piece in your collection. You feel me? This sort of look like a blazer. Once again, the reason why I get these is because they give me like blazer vibes type. That's why I get these, you feel me? Um, I honestly love this. I love it. For one, because I love cream, I love beige and brown too. So um, I rock these really with anything, for real. You rock these with some Yeezys, 
the blazer the whole blazer look it's just I don't it's more it's easier to dress with because you can wear it with jeans you can wear it with slacks you can even wear it with like jean shorts I wouldn't say basketball shorts but jean shorts too there's so much different ways you can put this on like I can put this on right now and it'll still go with the fit so um yeah this is sort of like the other one I showed y'all like the blazer looks like along with the it's mainly just the collar the collar and the button so something like this with buttons and a collar like this and um let it go good all right this piece is kind of like the other piece i had showed y'all this blue drawn i had showed y'all um but instead this is brown and it doesn't have a uh, collar like the other ones and that's why i really liked it because um it had a different look to it as well as the stitching you see the details you feel me beautiful um and also the, you see the ends beautiful you feel me um all of these are thrifted all of these are thrifted so you could find these you just have to look and some of these i found in the women's section too so like go look in the women's section because they be hiding stuff in the women's section and some women's pieces don't even look like women's pieces you think it too hard stop being scary nigga they all fit you wouldn't even know they you wouldn't even know what i had on from a women's section if i wouldn't have told you you know what i'm saying you would have still commented fly hard drip Ooh, 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 ooh. It's all about perception, so quit being scary, bro. Quit being so prideful, bro. They got hard. It actually got hard too. So same reason why I got this is the same reason why I got the, the blue one really. Because it just stood out to me. The little details, the small details. I want y'all to look for those small details when you go thrifting or shopping or whatever y'all, whatever y'all do. Stealing. This is currently one of my favorite pieces just because of how bulky it is. And this is a vintage jacket this is like a grandpa jacket you feel me inside of the jacket is green um not only that it's thick but it's also like not long you can see like it's a little short so it stops perfectly at like my waist length and it's like give me like this bulky look you know what i'm saying so that's why i love this um i urge y'all to find find y'all a grandpa jacket bro find y'all try to find y'all a grandpa jacket um that's leather thick leather and it's always fly it's always fly to have these it's always good to have these to wear with some converse reeboks adidas whatever you like um phasos up to you but um yeah i feel like this is like really important really important like i love this but yeah on to that now this i'll say is more so a blazer y'all need to start dressing nice too bro like yeah y'all can have streetwear clothing um Hippie clothing, tomboy clothing, uh, edgy clothing, golf clothing. Have you some casual clothes too to balance it out, you feel me? You never know what the time may come that you might need to dress up for or who you may meet. You might meet your little boo thing, you know what I'm saying? You might be in public, you might come across your little boo thing, you feel me? You walking. You know, you put this on, you just, you gotta switch up your walking, everything where you wear casual, you feel me? You look nice. You gotta carry yourself in a different manner, you feel me? I'm saying you're going out to eat. I just feel like this is just a, a boss move, something to have, you feel me? Like you gotta dress formal too, bro. Dress formal. And they don't always gotta be occasion for you to dress formal. Like dress formal on a regular day, dress formal on a Monday, dress formal on a Thursday. If you're going out to eat, just dress formal. Cause you gonna for one, you're gonna stand out. Two, niggas will respect you in a different way. Like back in high school. Me and my homeboys, we used to come to school formal. Like, on a regular day, it wasn't no occasion. Niggas would be like, what's the occasion? It's how I feel today, you feel me? I'm wearing full-blown suits in high school. Like, I was wearing full-blown suits in high school. Um, baby blue suits, all black suits, trench coat outfits, looking like Blade. Like, dressing formal would get you a whole different type of respect in fashion. Like especially pulling off different styles in fashion too like you get your badge quicker you get your respect you get your respect way quicker when you know how to dress people will say you know how to dress way quicker if you're showing different types of styles like you can pull this off you pull this off you know what i'm saying like i can look nice this day like i can look formal this day like i'm finna go meet the president you know what i'm saying the next day i'm cooling on some bobby streetwear you feel me and then on another day, you know what I'm saying, I'm right in the middle, like tomboy look, you feel me? When you can pull off different styles like that, that's how you know you got enough pieces in your closet. And that's how you know, you know what I'm saying, you up there.
You up there. Get y'all something like this, like a little blazer. Cool blazer. Y'all already know the vibes, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a nice jacket, a nice jacket in your inventory, something cool, calm. I got this thrifting, you feel me? But I know it's a lot of clothing brands too that have jackets like this or this sort. Um, I, I can't name any at the top of my head, but I know we gonna drop some soon. I know we gonna drop some. You gotta have a nice jacket. What more is there to say about this? A nice jacket, that's nice, you feel me? The f nice, man. The arms is wider, which that's how I like it. The arms widen and the wrist a little bit small. So it can give me that perfect look. So the thing with this jacket is, the arms is not that wide, um, and the wrist is not that small, but it's still good, you know what I'm saying? It's still, it does justice because it is a varsity jacket. Um, and this is another piece y'all need to have in y'all inventory too, a varsity jacket, you feel me? They do cost money for varsity jackets, and um, I'm not sure if you really find one thrifting. Uh, if you can find one thrifting, then I'd be tight. Get y'all a varsity jacket, you know what I'm saying? It's going to cost a little bit change, but it's going to be worth it. Hey, y'all. Jacket, bro. Now, I added this on the list strictly because, once again, material. Y'all niggas know. Y'all know how I am with material. That's why I added this on the list, man. What? What? I used to rock this in school. Like, I used to put on a black turtleneck underneath this, have some black slack on, and some boots. And I have, like, a, um, I won't wear no book bag. I didn't wear book bags. I had, like, uh, what you call it? Like, it wasn't no duffel bag, kind of like a case. It wasn't no briefcase. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like a little bag. You feel me? Like a case. Look like a case. You feel me? Like real professional. But um, I rock this with turtlenecks. You can rock this. If you're outside of school, you can rock this with no goddamn shirt. Really. It just automatically like make you pop. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to get to it quick, get you something that look exotic. Um, Just make sure everything go together. Don't be looking like a damn fool, bro. So yeah, get you some exotic. Get you an exotic piece in your inventory, bro. And I know it's gonna start getting chilly. I actually got a way bigger puffer in the crib, and it's brown, like it's way bigger. It's an actual puffer. But um, since y'all know it's getting chilly, y'all, I gotta have you some type of puffer in your inventory. Um, I got like three puffers in my crib, actually. This is one. I just brought one out because like this thing couldn't hold all the goddamn weight. You gotta see, like I was literally struggling in the beginning nigga like i was <laughs> it's finna start getting cold y'all get y'all a puffer i ain't gonna say get y'all them expensive ass puffers nigga i forgot what they call i don't even care them expensive ass puffers they nice they nice but they expensive you feel me this will do justice you know what i'm saying like this will do justice like they all do the same thing i all get warm they all warm you up nigga so uh yeah a puffer g out of ones that I couldn't put on the cart because these drawings was heavy. Uh, just like earlier, this is another leather jacket. Um, instead, this one has fur inside, so you get really warm. Things like, as you can tell, like, if you couldn't tell already, most of this, like, most of this video is about material and fabric and how that literally makes you stand out. Material and the colors. You feel what I'm saying? If y'all keep wearing all these cotton outfits, like these cotton jackets, if all your outfits is like cotton jackets, like it's gonna make you look not basic, because if it's nice, then you're gonna look nice. But like, if you wanna stand out, you feel me? Like, if you wanna stand out for real, it's the fabric that's gonna make you stand out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talk to you different when you got on leather. I love this jacket, I literally love it to death. Um, I rock this. So much, I love it. Like I literally love it. I used to wear this like a lot in high school. Um, go out to eat, I wear it. Put some slacks on, some boots. Put the boots overneath the snack. What the? F put the boots over. Damn. Put the boots over the slacks at the bottom, and you tie it tight. You feel me? Get you like a sort of like a trench, like a trench blazer, something nice, like something nice like this that go past your waist. You feel me? Don't be afraid to venture out in your style. Like, you gotta try different things, for real. Next thing is gonna be this piece right here, this turquoise jacket. Um, it is suede as well, too. That's why I copped it, and also because I don't have turquoise. Well, I didn't have turquoise at the time. I also did have turquoise pants in my closet, 
but I didn't know literally like what to put with it. Like before I was just wearing like beige vests with the turquoise pants and then some Yeezys. And then um I found this. Oh actually I didn't even found actually Key found this. Actually Key found this and Key didn't have any pants to go with it, so he passed it on to me. And then um I was like, okay, cool, because it goes in my turquoise pants, so it was literally a win-win for me. But I got this because turquoise is a color like you don't really see people wearing at all. So I wanted to challenge myself. So reason why I put this in the list is so you can challenge yourself getting a color you ain't really wear like neon green or some crazy shit. Like challenge yourself, but remember materials, make sure it stands out. Make sure it's a little bit different. The inside is silk, so it's comfortable too. You should be a fashion god by this time, nigga. It's the end of the video. You made it to the end of the video. You should be a fashion god by this time, bro, for real. I just put y'all on real sauce. It would help more for me to actually like go into depth and like show y'all how y'all can rock these fits. But I can say that for another video. Comment down below if y'all want me to show y'all how to actually rock these fits or how to rock leather or any of these sorts. Any questions y'all have, ask me down below you feel what i'm saying so um but these are some gems really these are some gems and if you feel like if you feel like um this video didn't help at all then that's because you don't want to dress that's because you don't want to dress because literally you can take you can take something so basic and make it look good like if y'all see my diys y'all seen the shirts i was getting like if someone else was just rocking that regularly 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 if, if someone else was just rocking that like as it was before, you wouldn't say it's hard. And then I started cutting up stuff, bleaching stuff, dyeing stuff, you feel me? And then the way I rocked it, it made you like it and it made you, you know what I'm saying? It's just wearing it and how you wear it. It's not about the price. It's literally how you put it on and how you carry yourself and how you wear it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I go thrifting. That's why I go thrifting and I let people um, think what they want to think. I let people, uh, people perceive me in a different way. Some people think I'm rich. That's why everything I'm a plant, I'm not rich. I just think, cause you know what I'm saying? Niggas be thinking I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I seen a comment. The comment was like, it's going to be part 300, 200 some of I'm not rich. I just thrift. And then someone replied and said, nah, it's going to be I'm rich, but I still thrift. Now I f with that, bro. I what up, bro? You a goat. You a goat, bro. Shout out to you, bro. That's what his deck will be, y'all. I'm rich, but I still thrift. Hell you talking about, boy? I ain't gonna never stop thrifting to the day I die. I ain't gonna never stop thrifting, for real. I might be getting expensive pieces here and there, but yeah, but like, every time, hell no, nah, boy. I'm not gonna be balling out, like, buying all types of stupid. Nope. The good thing about thrifting is you find pieces that niggas can't find. So niggas will see you wear it and be like, oh, where you got that from? You know what I'm saying? Now, if I'm wearing something that is popular on social media and like a clothing brand posted it, it's popular on social media, you know, on Instagram, they got the feature. You can hold down the screen and it'll show you the product and you can literally click the product and find what they wearing. I feel like that's rotten. Like, nigga, that, that's rotten to the max. Nigga, that's rotten to the max, bro. Like... And some niggas actually do that. Like some niggas actually look at other niggas' fits and go head to toe, head to toe. And li y'all literally like y'all replicating niggas, like y'all cloning niggas, bro. Like y'all literally like cloning niggas. And if you a part of this family, I don't want y'all cloning people. I don't want y'all cloning me. I want y'all to take this valuable information I'm giving to y'all and y'all find yourself. Y'all find your own style. Y'all get what I'm saying? Don't try to clone me, okay? Please do not try to clone me. I'm giving y'all gems, okay? That's why we a family. And y'all can easily shoot me a DM and ask me for some help, some tips, and I'm gonna get back with you. You get what I'm saying? Just be respectful, introduce yourself, and I'm gonna get back to y'all. I swear, I'm gonna get back to y'all. Do not try to be me or do not try to be anyone else you see on social media when it comes to fashion, bro. Find yourself. Find yourself in fashion, and that means if it helps for you to start, if it helps for you to start by catching a little bit of inspo for me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you see a fit and you call it inspo for me and you want to put something close to that, if that helps you, go for it, okay? But don't don't let that be the whole path, okay? Like you if that if you want to start like that, that's fine, because you call it inspo and then you as long as you learn from that and you find yourself in within a path, then you good, bro. But um 
other than that man we're gonna wrap it up if you made it to the end of this video comment the infinity emoji and uh yeah ask you some questions down below or dm me or shoot me a dm um uh, yeah man peace and love y'all man i'll be safe man we out